Welcome to the National Weather Service Des Moines Hazardous Weather Briefing, updated on Sunday morning, March 12th. We continue to track a developing winter storm which will impact much of the state. Beginning this afternoon and continuing through Monday morning, our primary area of concern will be central and northern Iowa where the potential exists for six to nine inches of snow with locally higher amounts. This will create slick and snow covered roads leading through your Monday morning commute. Also concern about reduced visibility to a half mile or less at times, especially in northern Iowa where travel may become difficult in rural open areas. A winter storm warning is currently in effect for places such as Mason City and the I-35 corridor through far northern Iowa. A winter weather advisor is in place to the south of that, including locations such as Fort Dodge, Ames, and Waterloo. Our latest snow forecast shows the heaviest mounts up in northern Iowa, where 8 inches plus will be possible in locations such as Mason City, which would be in, under the winter storm warning. 6 to 8 inches further south, including areas such as Fort Dodge and Waterloo, and amounts tapering off to the south and west, where we're expecting 2 to 4 inches as you approach the Des Moines metro. So again, our primary concerns with this system will be impacts to travel beginning this afternoon and continuing through Monday morning through central and northern Iowa. The snowfall may be heavy at times, especially this evening and into the early overnight hours. Areas of blowing snow may also reduce visibility, especially in northern Iowa, where travel may become difficult in rural open areas. You can find additional travel information online through the Iowa DOT at 511ia.org. You can also find more forecast information on our webpage at weather.gov slash Des Moines. You can also find more information on social media on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And you can also hear the latest winter weather forecast information on NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio. This concludes the National Weather Service Des Moines Hazardous Weather Briefing.